Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. It's your boy Local Stoic here with another top 11 video for your head top. Now, in this match, we're playing a league match. In this video, we have a league match for you. We are playing against Flamengo. They have not been doing very well in the league. Their form, as you can see, terrible. Only one win out of the last five games. As it stands in the league, we are sitting fourth place. They are at eighth place. So, lost, draw, win. That's what they've been doing in the league. So, not particularly great form. Um, and they are also significantly lower than us in terms of quality as for their formation we also well I'm looking to outwit them in a kind of a defensive way uh, they have one attacking midfielder I placed a ball winning defensive mid on that on their attacking mid so Bert again better than well sh should be better than Willems in terms of quality and Mourinho is playing in that defensive midfield but in an attacking position if you can see that line he is above the defensive line in the center of the midfield so he should be moving forward a little bit more in an attacking role hoping to kind of counter one of his central defenders whilst Balaz will be playing in a defensive role if you can see there he's behind the line of the right midfield so he should be playing more central than an attacking role to counter Basigio. Basigio. I don't know. Sorry, I can't pronounce every name that I see here. So Rakowitz should be free and open because Davis should not be a problem for him. So that's our strategy. We are playing um, all their midfield is right footed. Our midfield is also right footed. So it should be a pretty fair contest there. Our left mid Isimim. He, he's wide open. He should be wide open on the wing to do whatever he wants. And Burbano, I put him in that attacking role beside the striker. So essentially, we are playing a 3-2-3-2. You guys know how I feel about the 3-2-3-2 formation. I think it is the ultimate formation to have. But this is somewhat of a distorted version of it without having the right mid. Well, we do have a right mid, but he's more attacking than equivalent to the left midfielder so it's like of a skewed 3-2-3-2 so i made this one up myself and i'm hoping to see if it plays out well during the match so that's the tactical thing that we're going for in the match let's see how it goes Flaming flamingo you are going to be a test bunny for my strategy Nova FC playing away from home. If you also notice, they are, their pitch is pretty, pretty bad. They don't have a big stadium. The capacity is 200 and only 120 persons showed up. So they're a pretty small club with a big budget. Their budget is equivalent to mine. Yes, I checked because I don't know why these things matter. <laughs> okay, you can see clearly that they are playing down the flanks. No, that's us. Oh, why did I think they had the ball there? We are playing in red. <laughs> I didn't realize Gonzalez was that tired. Hmm. Marina is also in terrible form. Well, his morale is terrible. Oh, no. Oh wow, Viveros made himself big there. That was a good stop. Wow, wonderful finish. That was a wonderful finish.
Oh, what a finish by Ballas. That was a beautiful, beautiful finish. The drive into the box, though. I didn't even realize he's playing a very attacking role. Well, that's not true. He's sitting very deep there, but that moment he was very attacking. Quick one-two between Rakowitz and, and he finishes spectacular. Gonzalez and Rakowitz. That's a wonderful link-up play. So, safe to say that they are playing how I expected them to play, mostly. Um, again, it could just be down to the quality difference between us, but formation seems to be working very well against them. Oh, Isimi, what a dribble. Oh, wow. Wow. Spectacular finish, Isimi. I want you guys to make note the bonus is just about finished but it will last long enough to get us into the second half you always want to make sure that you have a bonus going into the second half just in case you get a quick break well i don't know about you guys but that was some entertaining football in the first half nova fc five goals up before half time using the 3-2-3-2 formation but a more distorted form of it and the tactics again they are playing out as I, ho as I hope we're going to turn up the heat a little bit more to see how see how bad things can get <laughs> but then we'll be making some substitutions um, a full team well no we do have a stronger match later on today that we need to rest a few players for but most of our main players are in the reserves anybody that's here is on the bench they are able to get some play time so we will be making some substitution maybe switching the left and right sides there yeah then the bonus runs out defense Balas. Wonderful free kick. Keeper was able to equal it. I think that was the first bit of action from Burbano up front all game. Let's, 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 let's try to help him out a bit. Let's try to help Burbano out, see if we can get him on the score sheet. Oh, that dribble from Gonzalez. Fraser in the middle of the park and does that. Wow, not bad, not bad, not bad. Well, the commentators think you could have done better. Good effort. I am your coach. I say good effort. Balaz is just blazing. Oh, we miss 
missed a goal. Oh man. Not gonna lie, substitutions are are a real seems to be like a, a thing in this game where it, it's ridiculously hard to substitute players. Oh Vivers, wonderful save by Vivers. Only managed to get two substitutions out. And they won't even play because the match is done. Oh wow, that's good. This is the first time I've ever seen anything after 85 minutes in the match. Do you see me unable to beat his man? And that should wind things down. Nova FC clearly dominating here. That was, uh, I'm not gonna say it was a good match. <clears throat> Because clearly it was a beat down. Sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, clearly it was a beat down and I, I don't really like to trash talk on lower lower opponents teams. But yeah, we trash them and it is what it is. You have, we only can beat what is in front of us, right? Uh thank you to our supporters, they definitely helped. Away from home. We you know you always need that extra advantage because you never know when you'll get an opponent that actually shows up and gets that eight percent possession bonus so any support away from home big big shout out demon slime and dravid he supports away and home so statistics show we dominated everything there 10 points 10 10 shots on target i should say 18 shots in total possession wise 70 percent to 30 percent they are a smaller club as i said uh they do again have the same somewhat the same budget as i do they have 80 million dollars in the bank so anyways the next match for today atacama fc versus nova fc this match is a defining moment because round of 32 we cannot afford to drop out at the round of 32 so we already know how we are going to defeat Atacama FC or rewatch the match. Um, the last video that I uploaded, I rewatched our match and I'm telling you that I noticed exactly how we, they were able to equal us. They had a man in the center of the midfield just walking all over the park. He was unmarked, nobody to him. So that made us very aware of what we needed to do. So we're going to do what needs to be done. 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two formation. Wait, where is it? 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two formation incoming. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the match.